everyone and welcome to today's video. This is beginning ESL. We're in Unit 3, Lesson 2. In this lesson we're going to be learning about adverbs of frequency and these are words that will let you ask and answer questions about time. <coughs> we'll also talk about how to tell time and to ask what time it is. Alright, so what do you eat for breakfast? Here's some common breakfast foods that people might eat. Uh, we can also ask a yes or no question. Do you have coffee in the morning? I usually don't. I have um, hot cocoa or hot tea. So no, I don't have coffee in the morning usually. Do you eat breakfast every day? I personally do, so I would answer yes, I do, but you might answer no you don't. Uh, what do you eat for breakfast? For me I would answer I eat eggs, uh, muffins, and hot cocoa. Alright, so do you have fruit for breakfast? So you can ask questions and give answers. For example, do you have bread for breakfast? No I don't. I eat cereal. So you could practice asking and answering some questions about um, different kinds of breakfast foods. We can also answer the question, what do you eat? And we'll read these texts about eating. I usually eat breakfast at 7 a.m. I always eat toast and jam. I never eat breakfast but I have a snack at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. We eat dinner at 8 p.m. We sometimes eat pizza. And I eat lunch at noon. I usually eat a salad. All right, so we're going to listen to Linda and you're going to be listening for what, what does she talk about? So let's listen. I always drink a cup of coffee after I wake up. And sometimes I have another cup of coffee with lunch. All right, so what does she talk about? She talks about drinking coffee. All right, so we're going to listen again to Linda and she uses some adverbs of frequency. So we'll listen for those. I always drink a cup of coffee after I wake up. And sometimes I have another cup of coffee with lunch. All right, so she said she used the adverb always. So always means 100% of the time. So every morning when she wakes up, she drinks a cup of coffee. And then sometimes, which is about half the time, she has another cup of coffee with lunch. Not always, but just sometimes. So here are some other um, sentences using those adverbs of frequency. We always eat toast and jam, so 100% of the time. I sometimes drink milk, about half the time. You usually have a snack at 3 p.m., so it's more than half, but not 100%. And then they never eat meat. Never is zero. All right, so then we're going to listen to Sarah and fill in the blanks. I never eat breakfast. I am not hungry in the morning because I usually have a late dinner. All right, you can fill in uh, the blanks if you can remember those, and I'll play it again and fill in the blanks so you can check your answers. I never eat breakfast. I am not hungry in the morning because I usually have a late dinner. Okay, so never and usually are the adverbs of frequency. All right, now we're going to listen to Leah and we're going to answer these questions. What does Leah usually eat in the morning? What does she always eat for lunch? And what does she usually eat for dinner? So let's listen. I try to eat healthy foods. In the morning, I usually have an egg, 
some fruit, and a cup of tea. I always eat a salad for lunch. For dinner, I usually eat chicken or fish with some vegetables. All right, we'll listen again. I'll play these one at a time so we can write check our answers. I try to eat healthy foods. In the morning, I usually have an egg, some fruit, and a cup of tea. Okay, so she says in the morning. She usually has an egg, some fruit, and a cup of tea. And then what does she always eat for lunch? I always eat a salad for lunch. Okay, so she always eats a salad for lunch. And what does she usually eat for dinner? For dinner, I usually eat chicken or fish with some vegetables. So she usually eats chicken or fish with some vegetables. All right, now we're going to uh, first see if you can figure out which words from the boxes here go into these sentences, and then you can restart the video when you're ready to hear the answers. In my country, we always eat a big meal around 2 p.m. with soup, fish, meat, potatoes, vegetables, bread, and dessert. The other meals are usually small. Sometimes after lunch, shops and restaurants are closed so people can have a short nap in the afternoon. All right, so we're going to look at telling time. So this clock is showing four o'clock. Small hand is pointed to the four. The large hand is at the 12. A quarter after five. So here we have the small hand at five, and each of these represents five minutes. So five, 10, 15. So a quarter would be 15, so either 5.15 or a quarter after 5. Here we have 20 after 6, so the hand is pointed kind of between the 6 and the 7, so it's we know that it's a little bit after 6 o'clock, but it's not quite 7. So again, each of these are 5 minutes, so 5, 10, 15, 20, so 20 minutes after 6. Here we have half past eight. So the small hand is between the eight and the nine, and the large hand is on the six. So this is halfway around the circle, so half past eight. Here we have a quarter to nine. So the small hand, it's not quite at the nine because it's not nine o'clock yet, but it's closer to nine than to eight. And it's 15 minutes before nine, so we would say, a quarter to nine. And then here we have 4.15, so we have the small hand pointed at the four, and the large hand at the three, which represents five, 10, 15 minutes. We could also call this a quarter after four. All right, now we're going to listen, and in what order does the, meet the speaker mention these times? So let's listen. It's 12 o'clock. It's time for lunch. My family eats dinner at 6.30 p.m. In Spain, people eat dinner very late. I eat dinner around 10 p.m. It's a quarter to seven. Let's eat dinner. The restaurant only serves breakfast until 11 a.m. 
It's almost 3 p.m. It's time for our afternoon tea. In Poland, we eat two breakfasts. Around 8 a.m., we eat eggs, cereal, and pancakes. And around 11 a.m., we eat fruit, pastries, and sandwiches. All right, we'll listen again, and this time I will write down the order in which he says each time. It's 12 o'clock. It's time for lunch. My family eats dinner at 6.30 p.m. In Spain, people eat dinner very late. I eat dinner around 10 p.m. It's a quarter to seven. Let's eat dinner. The restaurant only serves breakfast until 11 a.m. It's almost 3 p.m. It's time for our afternoon tea. In Poland, we eat two breakfasts. Around 8 a.m., we eat eggs, cereal, and pancakes. And around 11 a.m., we eat fruit, pastries, and sandwiches. All right, so now write down each time that you see on the clock, and then um, we'll listen when you're ready to check your answers. So go ahead and pause the video, and you can listen or write down the times that you think is shown on each of these clocks, and then we'll listen to check your answers. A quarter past four, half past six. So A is a quarter past four. You could also say 415. B is half past six, or you could also say 630. Would be another way to say that. A quarter after seven. A quarter after seven. or also 7.15. Midnight. Midnight or 12 o'clock. Twenty past five. Twenty past five. Or you could also say 5.20. Eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock. That's letter F. A quarter to ten. Quarter to ten. Ten to seven. Ten to seven. Right. All right, now try to make some sentences with the information that you have in the pictures. So we've got Simon and Derek, we've got always, and then it looks like um, 6.30, and it looks like they're eating breakfast. So an example sentence you could say, Simon 
and Derek always eat breakfast at 6.30. All right, now try the same thing with the um, other pictures and the words and information that you're given, and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, so for picture B, we would say Joan and her friends usually eat lunch at 1 p.m. Letter C. William and I sometimes, oops, and I sometimes eat pizza at 9 p.m. And the last one. You usually eat a snack at 4 p.m. All right, we want to practice using uh, the adverbs of frequency, always, sometimes, usually, and never. So if I said, do you eat noodles? and then you would answer I, and then either I always eat noodles, I sometimes eat noodles, I usually, or I never eat noodles. So practice answering these questions aloud. Do you eat fruit salad? Or when do you usually eat fruit salad? When do you eat cereal? When do you eat pizza? Do you eat green vegetables? When do you eat bread? And do you eat bananas? All right, and then I'll give you some examples of how, how I would answer these questions. I never eat noodles. I sometimes eat fruit salad for breakfast. I sometimes eat cereal for breakfast. I sometimes eat pizza for dinner. I usually have green vegetables at dinner. I always have bread in the morning, and I never eat bananas. All right, so now we're going to listen to Manny talk about his family and then answer the questions. So let's listen. On Saturdays, my family always has a barbecue. Everyone brings some meat, and my father grills it. We usually drink and eat all day. All right, so go ahead and answer the first question and then we'll listen again to hear the answer. On Saturdays, my family always has a barbecue. Everyone brings some meat and my father grills it. We usually drink and eat all day. Okay, so on Saturday they have a barbecue because he said always. So do you have barbecues with your family? And do you usually eat with your family? All right, so now we're going to listen to these three people. Um, so Raihan speaks first, then Yasir, and finally Tia. 
And so we're going to be listening for the meal that they're talking about and the food. So let's listen. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. I always eat breakfast as soon as I wake up. Sometimes I eat pancakes and sometimes I eat bacon and eggs. I never forget to eat breakfast. My grandmother always cooks a big family dinner on Sunday nights. We usually eat salad, bread, and pasta. And for dessert, she always makes a cake. I always go to a restaurant for lunch. In Ecuador, lunch is the most important meal of the day. And sometimes, stores close during lunchtime. Restaurants usually serve a fixed menu with a meal, dessert, and drink for one price. The menu changes every day. All right, I'll play it again one by one and so I'll give you a chance to write down your answers. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. Okay, so Rihan is talking about breakfast. I always eat breakfast as soon as I wake up. Sometimes I eat pancakes and sometimes I eat bacon and eggs. I never forget to eat breakfast. So he mentioned pancakes. bacon, and eggs. My grandmother always cooks a big family dinner on Sunday nights. Okay, so here he's talking about Sunday night dinner. We usually eat salad, bread, and pasta. So he mentioned salad, bread, pasta. And for dessert, she always makes a cake. And cake. I always go to a restaurant for lunch. In Ecuador, lunch is the most important meal of the day. And sometimes, stores close during lunchtime. Restaurants usually serve a fixed menu with a meal, dessert, and drink for one price. The menu changes every day. He said the menu changes every day. She didn't mention any specific foods. All right, so here are some questions and answers that you might um, give when you're talking about what people eat. Um, so here, for example, they say, what do you eat for breakfast? I usually eat pancakes. Do you have vegetables for dinner? Yes, I do. I always eat vegetables. Do you eat snacks? Yes, I usually have a snack at 4 p.m. And what time do you eat lunch? I always eat lunch at 2 o'clock. So um, you might want to kind of uh, write down these particular questions. If you find yourself with the opportunity to talk to people about food, these are some of the questions that you can ask for practice. All right, that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.